Hello, welcome to H Fashion Hub. My name is Abisola. Today I'll be taking you on the completion on how to divide the basic body measurement. If you are new to our channel, kindly like and subscribe. Thank you. In our last class, if you can remember, I make lists for a particular number to be used for the basic measurements, such as I make use of 14, the bust, the waist, the hips, half length sleeve and the round sleeve in total. Today, I will be taking a lecture on how to divide the increasing body pattern. So again, we'll start from the back. The back, our back is 14. So our back is 14. So if you can remember very well during the last line, I said back we already divided into two, into two waves, into two. So with that, the sewing allowance, and today again, we are still making use of it. So for our back now, that is 14 divided into two, that is seven inches, seven inches. So if you are cutting, after you decrease her before then into four places, then you measure for your back hat, you make your seven inches on our clothes. Then we move to the bust. The calculation we have 36. So during our last I sent 36 divided by 4 plus 2. So now we say 36 divided by 4. If you use your you can use your calculator via your calculator, you can use your tape rule to measure this. So 36 divided by 4, it will give us 9. 9. This is our 9, it will give us 9. So nine now you now had your two inches sewing allowance to it to give us what eleven inches. So on our clothes, if we want to measure now, we are going to make use of eleven inches. That's that for both. We move on to the waist. Our waist is twenty-eight. And so I'm making use of 4, 28 divided by 4 plus 2. Now, our 28, if we are to divide our 28 to put that equal to 7, so this is our 7 plus the 2 inches here. That is 7 plus 2 is 9. So we put of line 9 inches on the clothes. So now we move on to the eaves. To the eaves line, we have 36 as well. It will be 36 divided by 4, so in an uh, allowance plus 2 inches. So 36 divided by 4, that is 9, plus the 2 that is here will bring it forward again. So the calculation will be so straight. So 9 plus 2, that is 11 inches. So when you reach your, you make use of 11 inches for the inch as well. Then for the half length, we can remember very well that I mentioned that anything that have length, it will not be divided. The only thing that you need to do is just add your sewing allowance to it. So we have 15 inches for the half length. You just add your 2 inches sewing allowance. So we are cutting for the half length to make use of 17 inches. So we make use of 17 for the sewing line. Then for the sleeve. For the sleeve, we have different categories of sleeve. If you can remember, I said long sleeve, um, quarter sleeve. Then we have short and uh, short sleeve. Then now uh, I decided to make use of short sleeve. I make use of ten. You can remember I said sleeve is sleeve length. It also takes the word length, so I will not divide anything. I will only add two inches to it as well making 12 inches for my sewing so then for the round sleeve for the round sleeve my round sleeve since i'm using this i'll make use of this as well my round sleeve is 10 you can remember it will be divided by 2 plus 2 inches sewing allowance so for the round sleeve 10 divided by 2 is 5 plus the 2 inches sewing allowance it will give me 7 so I'm making use of seven inches 
for the swinger. So as you can see, these are the calculations that we needed to calculate whenever I want to draft it out or whenever I want to cut a cloth. So we are done with the calculation. Now we move on to the practical aspect. Where I will show you how to input all the measurement. Welcome to the practical aspect. Like I've been explaining earlier. So we are making use of brown paper for the practical aspect. Now as you can see, this is the brown paper that we're making use of. This is the old paper. But before cutting, I will have to fold the paper into four places. So we are making use of this for the wideness. Then we are making use of this for the length. Then after all this, then I didn't know it depends on the kind of neck that you want to use for your same. You can make use of round neck, you can make use of canoe neck, you can make use of square neck. So on the next class, I'll be taking you know how to cut necks. So we are going to make our use of neck on this. But for today, this is where we are going to stop. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on 8 Fashion Hub. Bye-bye.